Hello, I'm Pat Hughes, PH. And I'm Dina Sanfilippa, DS. We're the PhDs. PhDs. We're going to have some smart conversation <laughs> about uh, uh, Paulding County and uh, the state of affairs and whatever. And, and people base their opinions on what they've seen and you know over the last couple of day over the last couple of decades people have reason to be cynical government hasn't worked well i them. know but they, they but, but see the government is working for the people in government just look at um the politicians in washington dc pretty much all of them are millionaires and you look at the net worth of um, our current congressmen and senators Whoa, before you know, and after they get into the office. But well, their aren't their you, net worth has just gone up, 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 up. And why you, is that? They've got the laws rigged I in know. their favor. But you're supporting, uh, or at least have an a, a inkling to support uh, one, Donald Trump, who is a billionaire. Okay? Because well, he's honest, I guess. Oh, no, well, I don't say that. I don't say that. Trump. I mean, I like, I like Donald Trump just because he tells it like it is. He's not an entrenched yeah. politician, and I really don't have a lot of faith in politicians that we have now. They've messed this country up. So, I mean, let's try something new. Let's see what... Trump can do, but I, I still support Bernie Sanders. But you know, between the lot of those Republicans, I mean, I, I'd say Trump right now. Some of those other people just scare me because of their religious ideologies. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, he's he's worse than than uh, Stephen Colbert. But fortunately, Stephen Colbert's is an act. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's really kind of silly, but, you know, I, actually, I think probably it's gotten more exciting because we talk about these as people. Mm -hmm. uh, people are certainly a critical element, mm -hmm. but the real element of, of uh, our democracy and uh, freedoms and everything else mm -hmm. is having good, strong process. And we don't, I mean... What did you? When did you learn about governmental processes? Uh, uh, civics class in the mm -hmm. eighth grade. Yeah. Well, who, who was your teacher? Well, I know in high school it was football coach or basketball coach and he would have the TV in there he would you know talk for a couple of minutes and he's like well y'all read this and you do these questions and I'm gonna sit over here and watch the recap of the game so I can figure out what to tell these kids to do differently next time I mean that's basically what he did yeah uh, we we had one uh, uh, it was uh, the it was a coach uh, and uh, it was eighth grade civics and what he did was uh, and it was it was painful uh, because uh, he wanted to see who could read and who couldn't, but he would make everybody read a paragraph. So some paragraphs would uh, go in, you know, 30 seconds, mm -hmm. normal speed of uh, somebody that could read it uh, adroitly, and other paragraphs were 10 minutes. Oh, you, uh, that's all right. Uh, but I was hearing your phone, and mm -hmm. we're going to ignore that. So anyway, that's that's fine. I'm but sure I mean, it's it, I'm sure it's not the roofing company telling me that they're gonna. Come my <laughs> mailbox. <laughs> we'll talk about that later on. Well, we can talk about that now. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so you had a mailbox that was knocked over by a vandal? No. No, no. My mailbox was sitting there minding its own business, and the people next door to me were getting their roof replaced and the roofing company subcontractor of a subcontractor hit my mailbox and it's a four hundred dollar mailbox because i've already got a Fancy. quote i've already got a quote to, to replace mm -hmm. it and um so i've been getting the runaround for the last couple of days you know there's a lot of a lot of talk but it's cheap or real cheap mm -hmm. so you know it's not rocket science. I sent you a quote, and you need to be formulating a little plan. It's not complicated for either bringing me a check for the money, or you pick up the phone and call the people at the top of the quote and give them your credit card information and coordinate with me on a day and time that would work for me to have them come out and replace my mailbox. Like I said, it's not, it's not rocket science. It doesn't take a long time to figure out a plan for, you know, righting your wrong and 
executing it, but I think I'm getting the, the runaround and I am formulating my PR plan right now if they... You're um, going to punish them. You're going to punish them if they don't come across quickly for, to make you whole now. Well, I'm going to let the world know that they do not fix their mistakes. So I've already figured out, you know, I'm going to call the Better Business well, uh, how, long been? How, long is, how long has this been? It happened Tuesday. Happened Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you know, they gave me a song and dance Wednesday, and then they gave my husband a song and dance Thursday. They said, oh, well, give us till... Give us till Monday, and I'm just like, you know, I'm thinking. Give them till Monday to do what? To replace it or to uh, say that they will replace it? Well, they said, you know, I said, well, give us till Monday, you know, to, you know, get out there, get it and do it, or, you know, get you a, get you a check. But, you know, there's no communication, like, on their part as far as picking up the phone and calling me and telling me, you know, like, what their progress is, kind of. Thing. So I'm thinking that if I don't hear anything from them by the end of today, oh Monday, that or Monday at the latest, that they're not going to pony up. So I've got to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to file a police report called Better Business Bureau. I've already, you know, looking to see, you know, where all I can go online and do negative reviews of them. So it's coming. I have a negative PR campaign planned if they do not give me a check. So they came in about 11.45 or so. Mm -hmm. Todd threatened to order lunch, but he never did. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ended up talking until 6.30. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, uh, we run, we run uh, uh, John and uh, uh, KV off and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Thad and Melissa mm -hmm. off and uh, sit there and uh, uh, talk about anything. But anyway, they were, when they first came in, they you said, can you, hear, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I, so y'all hear, okay, good. You know, there was like, I, like they, were, they had the guy over here, they were saying, yeah, there's a guy over in a white van just over there by the, by the you know, sitting there listening to us, trying to, and I'm sitting there, well, tell him what I, I, I tell him this about every day, kiss my. Well, that's good. I mean, you could be on the opposite end of the political, uh, you know, spectrum on issues and still, you know. Rag each other. Yeah, rag each other. Have fun. <laughs> you know, it, it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Yeah. But you know, it, it, and I and I did have, mm -hmm. I did appreciate the opportunity to tell Todd why I was giving him a hard time. Mm -hmm. And I'm giving him a hard time, and I'll give him a hard time till he changes what he's doing, mm -hmm. uh, which is being negative about everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't. Uh, I, I like him. You you made that report to the commission about mm -hmm. uh, education and the and the uh, number of people, uh, kids that were in. Uh, 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 free lunch and uh, right, reduced right, price right, right, because that, that's really a bellwether of, you know, the poverty levels yeah, and, and income and, levels and, and, of people in your community. And, and it ought to be ringing alarms. I mean, mm -hmm. we ought to be saying, oh, God, what in the world? I mean, mm -hmm. we got to do something. Yeah. Uh, you know, and basically what we're getting out of the commission now is we don't want to do nothing. I mean, uh, we get the, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, was, it was a revelation. It was, it was a point of pride, a point of praise. That uh, they said, well, I think we're going to be okay with the with the reservoir uh, that we've been planning for 20 years or 15 years or whatever, you know. Uh, you know, I, uh, we, we might ought to have another vote mm -hmm. though before we uh, spend 200 million dollars because we don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't want to take response. I don't know. You know, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, uh, and, and I guess the point I was trying to make is that uh, no, you don't do. In other words, you, you got a child. Mm -hmm. And you sit there and they uh, uh, start reaching for the food. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Pretty soon they ain't going to do it because they don't want to get slapped on the wrist. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been doing that to county government saying don't do, don't do it. Movie studio, uh, 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 tow road, uh, airport. I mean, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, it's just nothing but this. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, we're going to get a good county government that's not going to do anything. And, of course, that... Fits into, to go. The status well, quo. It's not even the status quo. It is, I don't want a job where I, I mean, if you were sitting there saying, it, I don't want a job that I get paid for, then I don't have to do nothing. Those are great jobs. 
Well, no, they're actually very lousy jobs. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I actually turned one down. The first job, I was offered a job right out of college when mm -hmm. I, I went to Washington, D.C. And the first job I was offered, it was uh, my, uh, uh, <coughs> my next door neighbor, Caddy Corner, was uh, uh, the parents of the congressman. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there and talked to uh, Bill Alexander, as it was his name, and mm -hmm. Bill says, okay. Uh, and he had a little bit of patronage. He was a, a, a whip uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, when Democrats were in control of Congress back in the uh, early 70s mm -hmm. or whatever. And uh, so, uh, hey, we got you a job. Pay you X, Y, Z. It's uh, uh, what you're doing. What you'll be doing is mixing drinks for the folks that uh, 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 work on the office equipment uh, for the Congress. Mm -hmm. Not exactly what I had in mind. I wasn't necessarily. Uh, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to go into. Oh wow, man! Okay, here we go. <laughs> and that, I've, I've never been a mixologist uh -huh. nor a, uh, a connoisseur of, uh, of drinks. I, you know, maybe a little straight scotch every now and then, or uh, yeah. mix it with a little water. But mm -hmm. uh, that's not uh, uh, what you would call pink ladies or whatever in the world. I don't know what they do these days. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, so I turned him down. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I instead, instead uh, ended up clipping uh, newspapers in the back office of uh, the senator for Arkansas. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, you know, that was, uh, I didn't want a job where I didn't do anything but mm -hmm. uh, drink or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that was just not uh, uh, an interest of mine. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, um, I mean, uh, the, the job, I think you, hell, we got all, all over Bruce Harris because, uh, you know, his job was to, uh, I mean, it looked like his job was stay home and uh, mow his yard, you know, <laughs> uh, the last couple of years. I, it wasn't, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he took, uh, as elected official, that was uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a prerogative that he took, apparently. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we don't want people, uh, people generally don't want jobs that they get paid to do nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, hell, listen, I mean, all right, if you want to do that, let's have a guaranteed national income, okay? Okay, well, that, I mean, uh, if, the, if the politicians want to do nothing, well, that would be doing something, so they wouldn't want to do that. But uh, uh, <laughs> the point is, in this crisis that we were in, that you pointed out so adroitly, we got to do something. <laughs> And you got to get ahead of it, yeah. You got you, and you, you and you it. and you got to be able to to have the confidence you can try things without getting your mm -hmm. head cut off. Mm -hmm. That is what I complain about Tony and Todd and Vernon mm -hmm. is that uh, they they they're not looking for ways to do anything. They're looking for ways to do nothing. Well, they're not the first, nor are they the last politicians to get electing on, I don't like what the current people are doing, and that's their platform. I mean, that's... Yeah, I know. Well, as yeah, opposed and to I, saying, hey, let's just do something differently instead of, oh, I don't like that. Well, I know, and they, and they really need to think about doing things differently because, Jesus, uh, the idea that uh, uh, they can't do anything. I, 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 he, says, he says they wanted to cut the budget to the IBA. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the big deal. And of course, they got mm -hmm. snuckered this way and that, and it was mm -hmm. going to be a big contentious thing, and everybody wanted them to cut the budget of the IBA. And what else could we do? Okay, that was his, his comment to me. Mm -hmm. I, I says, I really hadn't thought about it a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, why, why didn't you just say, okay, we're going to, we're going to bud, uh, fund the budget. Mm -hmm. We're going to, to update the law like you want it. And you're going. To, we're going to expand the number of board members on the IBA by four, and each one of the post commissioners uh, is going to make an appointment. How about that? Could we do that? I don't it's know. It's a suggestion. It's a suggestion. It's it's something that could be done, mm -hmm. and it would uh, uh, allow. It would it would change the attitude of folks as far as what's happening. You know, we need to to be positive. We need to be doing something. I mean, that was. Uh, I mean, uh, instead, let's fight it in the court of law. You know, uh, I, I was sitting there. They were saying, um, oh, "What was it, uh, 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 Whitey and uh, uh, Whitey and John uh, were sitting there saying, uh, uh, tell, them, tell them what uh, what uh, Tom Murphy told uh, Johnny Hamm." 
You know what time Murphy told Johnny Helms about being county commissioner? No. He says, Johnny, do whatever the hell you want until the Superior Court judge tells you different. Okay? Basically, uh, I mean... <laughs> That's the attitude you know, a lot of them have. I know. And, and Keep that's doing it till somebody tells you not to. And that's well, but no, tell the Superior Court judge. There, there's yeah. a difference between oh, yeah, somebody. Oh, yeah, because it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's, it's, gone, it's, gone, up, it's gone up the line, and the Superior yeah. Court says, you can't mm -hmm. do that. You've, yeah. you've exceeded your authority. Mm -hmm. But basically, the authority is such that you do whatever the hell you want mm -hmm. to until the Superior Court just tells you different. And it's a, a, a very, very powerful position. Of course, it was even more powerful back in the days of Johnny Helms because you had two post commissioners, mm -hmm. uh, part-time post commissioners, and you were the, the, the commissioner. There, mm -hmm. were, there was no manager. Mm -hmm. There was, uh, 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 hell, uh, Charles Cole, I think, was uh, handling the books. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, this was early 90s, and it was uh, uh, really... You had uh, your own little kingdom. Almost. Well, almost, yeah, yeah, and uh, you know it was, uh, but it was a, uh, a entirely different time, and mm -hmm. that was one of the uh, things that, uh, uh, of course, uh, Bobby Hollis got crossways with the mm -hmm. post commissioners, and they uh, uh, kind of uh, helped. Uh, his, his administration was one that uh, kind of was uh, uh, one of those that you wince and and mm -hmm. and, and, and grin. Uh, because of some of the things that you saw being pulled. Uh, uh, but th things got more professional mm -hmm. after that, and uh, that was an element of our, our championship, uh, our champion of process. Um, you know, there there's still some issues there. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I was, uh, I'm buying some property in, uh, 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 in the county, and it's going to probably need uh, uh, inspections here or there or whatever, mm -hmm. depending on what all I do. And uh, uh, boy, I got an earful of. Uh, uh, I says, well, you know, it's, it's not like that in Dallas. You know, uh, uh, they don't do that. And well, uh, you know, says, well, okay, well, we'll see. It, uh, we'll talk about it here. If, uh, well, maybe you have an Atlas Chalet roofing shingles, and you can get you a new roof. I can hook you up with a roofing company. Oh, okay. Well, I need a new roof. <laughs> This place that I got is uh, is uh, it, it was a dog. I mean, they mm -hmm. they actually uh, uh, what I paid for the property, uh, uh, they paid me to take the house. <laughs> it was a discount off the value of the land, but uh, I mean, <laughs> um, it's a better deal. It's a better deal than one of them dollar houses in Detroit. Let's put yeah. it that way that yeah. they do the renovations on. But. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll, we, uh, we'll be looking for folks to help us uh, do that as well as we go through time. But, you know, the, the process approach uh, or understanding process is really, to me, one of the, the key things. And uh, uh, people need to understand more about process. And, you know, I know that, you know, the problem of process and governmental process, it is just about as boring as that civics class you were in in the eighth grade. Well, and that, and hasn't there been some lawsuits recently because people, basically the Georgia laws are back behind a paywall, and if somebody <laughs> tries to sit there and say, hey, people need to be educated about the laws, but then you got to pay to educate yourself. Well, <laughs> okay, I think we're, we're, we're done. We're rambling, yes. Yes, we're rambling. Okay, we'll see what we got, and we'll go from there.